Hello my beautiful gorgeous people. How are you? So today I have an empty video for you guys. I never remember to save the empty bottles. That's why I never filmed this type of video. I do love watching them because uh, I'm you know I'm noisy like that I want to see what people use and what they recommend so yeah this is what we are going to do in today's video I have quite a few products in here so buckle up grab a glass of whatever tea coffee wine beer doesn't matter maybe grab a snack because I also repurchased some products I have uh, the box right there I'm going to show you at the end what I repurchased some of the items I couldn't find some of the items I can't afford yet so <laughs> yeah anyway so if you guys want to see what products I used or what bottles I saved from the products I used uh, then keep on watching okay I'm going to start with this one. This is not em empty. This is not empty yet, but it will be in like two days. So you guys need this. I don't use it to remove my makeup. I just use it to do little touch-ups, touch-ups, to remove some little, you know, stuff I have on my face. I do use it to clean my face before I start doing my makeup. So this is amazing. You need this. I bought this last year. I bought this last year. I can't even talk. That's how excited I am. So I bought this last year, also from Primer, Primer, and I paid three euros seventy-five. This is the Garnier Micellar Water. I don't like the one that has oil in it. It doesn't work for me. This is the best. This is the best. You need to have it. Okay. Next. Also, this is not empty yet. I have like two uses steel but this is the Too Faced lip injection extreme you guys please don't look at my nails <laughs> i'm waiting for my press on nails to arrive okay and then i will do my nails but i feel like someone cut my fingers because they look so short you guys this works i did a first impression video on it Oh my goodness, it does work. Wait a second, I can't. I just this is so annoying. You guys need this. This works. It makes my lips so plump, so juicy. They are pretty red at first, like when I first apply this on my lips. Obviously, because it burns, it tingles. It's pretty intense, okay? So if you handle the intensity you know, uh, of the burning sensation on your lips, get this one. I will repurchase this also. Obviously, I'm going to repurchase this like ASAP. Next, I have the NYX. This is my third one, you guys. This is my second one. This is a brand new one because as I said, I already repurchased a few products. So this is the best eyebrow pen. This is the best. You, you can't tell me otherwise. This is the NYX Professional Makeup, obviously, Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. Amazing. If you guys are into the feathery, whatever this brow trend is called, you need to get this. I have no words to describe how amazing this is. I use the shade Espresso and I feel like it's not ashy, it's not gray. It looks very natural amazing next i'm going to mention the revolution pro because i know it's in there i know it's here because yeah it's here as i said this is the define and feel brow pencil precision micro blade blah, 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 micro blade effect for fuller brows i am in the shade dark brown again the shade is so good it's not ashy it's not gray so you guys pay attention when you buy this product because they have a identical one like identical even the name is identical this is like four euros if i'm not wrong four or six euros you need to buy the one with the gold caps okay because the other one has like dark like black caps whatever you need to buy the one that came in the gold package and with the gold caps because this is the best 
this is the good one the other one is not good trust me i did try that one so you guys need to buy the one that has the gold caps and it comes in this gold packaging speaking about revolution makeup you guys i bought this lip mask from them a while ago and it's absolutely amazing it makes my lips so juicy so soft it feels incredibly moisturizing on my lips i need to repurchase this but now it's like 10 euros and i remember paying like three or four euros i have like just a little bit more in there i'm going to repurchase this but i'm going to wait for a sale next i'm going to show you this she glam eyeliner i don't know how this is called i just threw away the box the other day because i was using this and i had a backup so i don't know how this is called i'm going to have the information here on the screen or maybe down in the bottom list but i think it's called glitter i don't know because the packaging is glittery the product is not glittery and this is a pretty matte eyeliner is bomb the felt tip is very tiny you can be very very precise amazing i already repurchased this like this is the brand new one i used the other day i think i'm done with the makeup if not oh no we have <laughs> this uh, maybelline lash sensational sky high mascara oh my goodness i think this one is my for for fourth product i think so maybe my third one i don't know i didn't save all of them but i already have like a new one and the one that i'm currently using so you guys this is the best the best mascara i love it and also it's so affordable sometimes i buy it from primor because i buy most of most of my makeup i buy it from primor and this is like seven euros like so freaking affordable you guys this is the best blurring primer i love this so much i need to repurchase this i remember i bought this on sale on beauty bay i don't know how much i paid my mouth is like so dry <laughs> i'm just having some water and lime <clears throat> so good i don't i don't know how much i paid but i remember i bought this on sale so i need to repurchase this this is the cover fx blurring primer amazing primer primer what i still have some left but this is too old so i'm not gonna use it in my opinion this is even better than the benefit one professional so uh, i definitely need to repurchase this i know it's a little bit expensive because cover effects but it's so good so it's totally worth the money and also this will last you so long because a little bit goes a long way so the best primer in my opinion i have dry skin and my main concern i'm sorry my main concern when i'm using a blurring primer is to kind of smooth out my fine lines and my wrinkles you know what i mean so this does that i love you i'm going to see you in a bit maybe <laughs> i'm going to go with whatever i grab first because i have a lot of products in here so i don't want this video to be too long even though it will be long so <laughs> buckle up as i said next i have some hair products you guys my hair is like not really my hair is more like my scalp my scalp is the problem we have some issues we are in a love hate relationship since like forever i mean not really my scalp started to act at crazy to act crazy since like four five ish years ago during the winter time i get the flaky scalp my hair falls like crazy it's insane it's insane okay and i know it's because my hormone hormonal whatever that's called like imbalance whatever that's called i use this shampoo along with the hair mask and they do really make your hair feel thicker even though it doesn't it's not it, your hair doesn't get thicker but it feels more thick it has density in it i don't know what it is but i love this i already repurchased this is right there behind me then i pretty much enjoyed this um polishing nourishing milk blow dry care for dry hair i did like this but i won't be repurchasing it repurchase 
it I don't know it didn't do much for me even though it is a heat protectant I guess but as I said it didn't do much for me I'm not gonna repurchase this one and for my flaky scalp you guys I did found something that works for me I went to my doctor and the first time uh, she gave me another shampoo that shampoo left my hair like I don't even know how to describe it it left my hair feeling like a dry ass broom then I went back to her and I said you know what I can't use this because I, I already have like three hairs I'm not gonna you know lose it all so she recommended me another shampoo but she said to use it as a leave-in mask so I applied this on my scalp mostly on my scalp I let it sit for about 10 minutes 15 minutes and then I rinse it out so it's called exactly like this I'm going to have it down below in the description bar but I live in Spain this is a Spanish or European brand I don't know Simfa Spanish maybe I have a little bit left but I'm going to repurchase this because it works for my flaky scalp so if you guys have flaky scalp I'm so sorry I know how that feels I feel you girlfriend I'm just shit we have to deal moving on you guys i have the nivea rich nourishing 48 hour with deep moisture serum you guys i love this but i don't like it i love it but i don't like it because it's so thick you need a lot to cover the area i just i love it it looks so juicy so glowy also is sticky so if you have cats or pets their hair it will literally stick to your body because of this body lotion so sometimes I use it only at night but the sheets will still stick to my skin and that's so freaking annoying I have a little bit left I'm going to finish this but I'm not gonna repurchase this because uh, it's annoying this is to dry to very dry skin I do have dry skin but I'm not gonna repurchase this. Like, it's amazing. It's moisturizing. It feels so juicy on the skin. Also, it looks very glowy. Under the sun, this looks like you applied shimmer on your skin. But is like the formula is too thick, it's sticky. It's a no for me. Sorry, but no. I know everyone loves this, but it's a no for me. Next, we have this Clinique Moisture Surge 96 hour hydro filler eye serum <laughs> I'm running out of air because I'm talking so fast I bought this because of Nicole Guerrero last year I still have a little bit left it is moisturizing but also is a little bit sticky so if you don't apply makeup you will be left like if you do your skincare you will be left with that sticky residue and if you have creases like me it feels annoying because you feel like your skin is like keep sticking together and no i did enjoy it but i'm not gonna repurchase it because no mm. you guys i purchased these uh hair skin nails vitamins i don't know maybe in january february i purchased this because tiktok tiktok recommends me sometimes a lot of products and sometimes I do go and buy them and sometimes they turned out to be good to me sometimes they don't this is one of those good purchases because it did work for me also this is huge anyway this worked for me but I wasn't consistent like I, I don't do good with taking pills or vitamins or whatever because I forget mostly all of the time so this supposed to last me two months and a half it lasted me literally four months because as i said i wasn't consistent <laughs> but it did work for me i noticed a major change especially in my hair because my hair grows so much you guys i lost a lot of hair i know i mentioned this before so i feel like this worked for me i already purchased this one but i didn't pay the attention you guys and i bought the skin so this is the beautiful skin gummies you guys as i said i didn't pay attention i bought this on prime day 
and I was like, oh my goodness, nature's bounty, let me just buy that. But I didn't pay attention what the heck I was buying. Yeah, not the same. I don't know if it works. Um, I will still eat them, but not the same. So, yeah, I will repurchase this. Moving on, you guys. I still have a little bit left. This is the best brush cleanser, like on-spot brush cleanser. If you use... A lot of brushes when you do your makeup like especially eye brushes I don't use this to clean my face brushes because they are so huge it will literally soak a lot of products so that's most like most that's more like a waste of product it smells like vanilla which is amazing because your brushes will literally smell like vanilla so this is the quick drying rinse free formula antimicrobial disinfectant so I, I cannot recommend you this enough. I will go and purchase it. This is a little bit more expensive, but I remember I bought this like two or three years ago. Two or three years ago. I still have a little bit left. I bought this on sale. Look for the sale because it is so worth it. So this is the huge bottle. Go get this brush cleanser because it is absolutely Thank me later, girlfriend. Next, I have the Good Molecules Silicone uh, Priming Moisturizer. Oh my goodness, I finally finished this one. I know it looks like it has product in it, but there's nothing. I love this one. This is not a primer, so don't get confused. I know it says primer, but this is not a primer. This is like a glowing moisturizer. I love it. It was sent to me last year. I just love it. I won't be repurchase this even though I love it. I just can't go and buy stuff that I then have to pay a lot of money for the shipping and then more money for the custom taxes. I can't do that. I can't afford. So this brand is from America. If you guys live in America, I do have an affiliate link. I think you will save 10% off. Go get their products. They are absolutely amazing. Wait, I have more, okay? I'm not lying. So I already purchased a few products. Don't get me wrong. I did went and I bought the <laughs> hyaluronic acid. These are the jumbo size. Look at this. Amazing. Their hyaluronic acid is like the bomb.com i use like four of these and i don't know maybe three or four of these like the smaller size of the hyaluronic acid serum this is the best then i have the daily brighten moisturizer no this is serum you guys this works but you need to stay consistent okay and also i have the discoloration correcting serum this is my second bottle Oh my goodness, this, these two together helped me to kind of get rid of my dark spots I have on my cheekbones. But because I finished the products and I didn't repurchase them, obviously I don't wear SPF because I'm crazy like that. So now my dark spots are again visible, but they do work. As I said, you just need to stay consistent. By the way, their products are affordable AF, very similar to the Ordinary brand, so we all know the Ordinary is good. So probably I will stick to the Ordinary brand until Good Molecules comes to Europe, because I would love to buy some of their products, but not right now, baby, not right now. So I have two products from the Seychelles Waso line. So I have the Sukulime Moisturizer. I love this. This is like a thick, juicy moisturizer if you have dry or very dry skin. You need this moisturizer. I know it's a little bit more expensive. It's like 20 something euro. I did got a mini sample a while ago of the same product. So I'm happy that I have a little backup. But this is the best face moisturizer if you have very dry skin this is absolutely amazing i just like licked all of it because it's that good oh, also it smells good so it has that mm, citrusy smell to it this is fabulous and then i got a vitamin c face mask face mask i said that weird 
again it has the same scent this is supposed to be a moisturizing face mask but to be completely honest the face cream was like 10 times more moisturizing and more juicy feeling on the skin i did enjoy this but not as much as the face moisturizer this is that type of mask with those little i don't know if the camera picks it but it has those little balls inside so you have to um melt them in your palms and then go and apply it on your face i do love how this smells i will repurchase this but not right now because i do have a lot of skincare products i need to finish first and then go and repurchase some more moving on i have a who am i buying dior serums <laughs> you guys i bought this on sale okay it was on sale i don't know how much i paid but it was pretty expensive and i bought this because uh, of kathleen light okay she you i mean she said she loves it because uh, she has dry skin like me this is uh, very moisturizing very glowing it feels so good on the skin it is a little bit sticky at first but the sensation kind of goes away it smells good it smells luxurious i did enjoy it but i'm not gonna purchase it because hello it's dior i cannot afford this anymore it was nice and fun to try you but Dior if you see my video please sponsor me maybe send me some products <laughs> that would be nice this is the capture youth plump filler serum age delay plumping serum serum honestly I haven't seen any age delayed uh, does it look plumping on the skin <laughs> I don't know I don't know but it feels good it feels nice so I did enjoy this I'm not gonna say anything bad about it so yeah I won't be repurchasing this because of the price moving on we have the Ponds cold cream cleanser you guys I bought this a while ago on Amazon now they don't have it anymore so I can't repurchase this but I bought the clinic take the day off instead so I don't need this type of product anymore because this is like brand new it's not the same because this burns my eyes so I'm avoiding to apply this around my eyes but the Pond one didn't burn my eyes. That's exactly why I love this one so much. This is the Moisturizing Deep Cleanser and Makeup Remover. So you can use this as a deep cleanser. I just only use this as a makeup remover. Like I apply this all over my face and then go and wash it and uh, do a double cleanse i love this one i truly did but it removes the makeup so beautiful like it doesn't leave the face greasy i truly love this as i said it didn't burn my eyes which is amazing i do have sensitive eyes so i want this again is i still have a little bit left but it's pretty old so yeah this must go Oh wow, I have more makeup in here. Okay, so I have more eyebrow stuff. You guys, I have the Anastasia, whatever this is called. I honestly don't like them. I mean, I did like them at first when the product is like brand new, but after a while it gets so dry. I still have a lot of product inside, but I can't use it anymore. And I refuse to apply whatever cream inside to make it smooth again. No, this is... It gets crusty it gets so dry and even at first when it was like brand new I mean this one is still good to go when this product dries on your eyebrows you will get those little black specks on your face because it's like crumbly crumbling crumbly it gets dry and flaky that's so annoying I never enjoyed this type of product I do like it how it made my eyebrows look a little bit more full but I, it, this is not, this is not for me. I'm sorry, Anastasia. I love you. I love you. I truly do. But some of your products are just not for me. So also, this is like pretty expensive. You guys, this is the lip gloss I was looking in my lipstick declutter video. I know I said I had a pink one, so I had two purples and a pink one, of course. But I 
finished this one and I'm going to recommend this one to you because it makes my lips look so juicy and it adds this cute pinkish color on top oh my goodness I love this this is the butter gloss glossy color that melts onto lips for a soft kissable pout this is in the shade strawberry perfect I used to love and enjoy this one that's why I'm going to repurchase it if I'm going to ever find it again <sighs> moving on we have the duo lash glue oh my goodness this is absolutely amazing I know not a lot of people enjoy duo lash glue but I love the clear one and the black one in my opinion the black one is a little bit better I don't know why how but I feel like this one is a little bit better. I do love the clear one as well. But sometimes it doesn't stay clear. You know what I mean? You can still see that on my lashes. I used that today. And I feel like you can still see it in there. Anyway, so the black one is absolutely amazing. This is my second one. I do recommend this. I don't have anything bad to say about it. You just have to be careful when you place your lashes down because this one will mess with your eyeshadow if you like misplace it or whatever. I love it. Also, it's like 6 euros, like very affordable. I already have a backup. Let me know what lash glue you like. Like, what, what do you use? Uh, so next we have some fake tan and fake tan remover this is like so sticky it's gross uh in my opinion you guys in my opinion the loving tan fake tan is absolutely the best and i'm gonna tell you why because it looks very natural it doesn't look green or gray or whatever on me at least last up to a a month i was about to say a month are you crazy girl yeah i wish no it doesn't last a month <laughs> that would be so nice <laughs> no they last up to one week if you take good care of it and when it's time to remove it you guys you don't even need a fake tan remover or eraser whatever this is called you just go and soak yourself under the shower or if you have a bathtub I hate you, but with love, I hate you with love. So you just go and soak yourself, have a glass of wine, read your favorite book, whatever, play a game on your phone, and then go and scrub it away. It will remove so dang easy. It's insane. That's why I love the Loving Tan uh, mousse formula is... I have no words. I just love this. I will go and definitely buy some more. But this is a little bit expensive. This is expensive. This is the dark. I love the ultra dark. But on me it looks a little bit crazy. The other day. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. Over and over again. But on top of this. I went and I applied a thin layer of the Bondi Sands. Um, it's like a gradual moisturizer. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Then I spent almost one hour in the shower to remove that. Not even this product removes their product. How is that? How is that? Like, I bought this Bondi Sense Tan Eraser to use it with their products and it doesn't work. Like, it, it, it's so hard to remove it from my skin. Oh my goodness. So I do recommend you this Self Tanner Eraser if you love to self tan and as for self tanner i love the loving tan as i said is the best in my opinion okay so the last three products i have they are for scars if you guys follow me you know that i got a boob lift last year so i'm trying my best to find the best scar remover or cream for scars to make them look less visible so i did try quite a few products some of them i didn't save because as i said i can't remember to save the empty bottles so the one that i'm currently using and love and enjoy is this one from isdin i think this is a spanish brand but this is called chica post or sica post isdin it has hyaluronic acid and vitamin e I love this one because it's not sticky and is clear, like transparent. Once, once it dries out, 
it feels like you haven't applied anything but it keeps your scars very moisturized the one that my surgeon recommended to me i i don't like it it felt moisturizing also it had vitamin e hyaluronic acid if i'm not wrong but it stayed white so that got all my dark clothing white <laughs> in my boob area and i don't like that i just no, that's no. Then I have this Kilo Coat. I think this is the best scar product on the market. Also, it's very expensive. I got this at my local pharmacy and you guys, I paid 30 euros for this little... This is a sample size. It has only 6 grams. I don't like this because it's so sticky is like a gel like a clear gel but it's so sticky is annoying and last but not least we have the mederma 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 so this is the scar cream and it has spf 30 which is nice none of these have spf i mean i don't think i only use this little tub i don't know if it did much for me but i did enjoy it because it gets absorbed so fast and it doesn't leave any residue very similar to this one uh it feels very nice i don't have anything bad to say about this these are all the products that i saved in a very long time because as i said i cannot remember for the love of god to save the empty bottles and then I went and I repurchased some of the products. I'm going to go pretty fast. First we have the hair tint. You guys, if you have flaky or sensitive scalp, I do recommend you to go and find a natural ingredient tint. This one has, it has 96.5 natural ingredients like herbs and all that stuff. Like plants, herbs, whatever. So if you have a problematic scalp go find yourself a natural tint dye or natural dye for your hair i know i haven't mentioned my uh, deodorant because i as i said i forgot to say save the empty bottles but this is what i use this is what keeps me out of sweat <laughs> that's how you say it um nothing else works for me you guys Five, six years ago, I had a major hormonal change. My body went like crazy, 360 degrees, upside down. So all my teenage years, I used to use the spray formula, like aerosol formula of the exact same product, but it doesn't work for me anymore. Like I apply that and in like 20 minutes, I sweat and smell. I know, a little bit TMI, but I'm oh, sorry, I usually don't smell like my um, sweat is not that smelly, but with that product, it gets crazy. So that stopped working for me after I got my hormonal change. And this is what works for me right now. Nothing else works. I tried Nivea. I tried a lot of other brands. Not even the citrus one works for me. I don't know what it is. Only the original works for me. And that's kind of crazy. I do love how this smells. It smells insanely good. Next, I bought the shampoo. Because as I said, this is the best. And it looks a little bit different. Like the color looks a little bit different. Right? No. Am I crazy? It smells so good. So I only purchased the shampoo because I already have hair masks. This smells so good and the smell lasts in your hair for a long time so as i said the best next i bought some deodorant for my boyfriend my boyfriend is exactly like me nothing works for him besides this deodorant this is the nivea black and white deodorant for men next thing i got oh is the self tanner i was mentioning i haven't heard of this brand correct me if i'm wrong maybe it's very popular I don't know, but I really hope it's good. So again, we have the Moussey formula because this is so easy to work with and so easy to apply. It doesn't leave like marks or anything like that. And last but not least, you guys, I purchased the SA Smoothing Cream from CeraVe. I heard a lot of good things about this cream. If you have chicken skin or 
Kelatosis pilaris, whatever that is called, chicken skin, chicken bumps on your skin. I do have that on my legs and on the back of my arms. They are so annoying because why? Why? So I heard this product helps a lot to blur them away or to make them look less visible. And I think it's the salicylic acid that um, helps to reduce the appearance of chicken skin. I am going to try that sh out of this and let you guys know if it works or not. It smells like nothing. Yeah, this was it for my empties videos. Let me know what you guys think. I think it's a long video and I'm so sorry for that. But as you saw, I had a lot of products and I need to constantly remind myself to save the empty bottles. So probably I will do another video like this in... I don't know how many months. <laughs> Let me know if you guys enjoyed this type of video. If you think it was a little bit too much because of the length. Just let me know what you think down below. And if you guys liked it, I'm going to definitely film some more in the future, as I said. But if you guys don't like this type of videos, I'm not going to film them. So, yeah. What can I do? What can I do? <laughs> let me know if you used any of the products I showed you in today's video. If you liked any of the products, if you want to try any of the products I showed you today, just let me know all that down below. And um, I'm so tired. I need a little break. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Take care and I will see you guys in my next one.